Well, good evening, folks. It's evening time, and uh, I'm here on the Coosa River, and it is beautiful out here. It's not too hot. Uh, it's a little bit humid. Big rain just come through, so now that might make these bass active. See that today I'm going to be focusing on trying to catch a few of these large mouth spotted bass here in this river system. The Coosa River stretches for a many a mile. How many? I don't know. But on and on and on. And I'm going to go on up here to a place where I used to catch them a few years ago. It's been a few years ago since I've been here to this particular stretch of water where we're going. But I have caught some big spots and largemouth. Uh, and today I'll show you what we'll be fishing with. Uh, or what works for me and let's just do it fish they're still pulling that water folks that's a good thing as long as I got some water movement I'm happy there's a little water moving but today I'm gonna be fishing a 4x4 four four, uh, PP PPT finesse head. This is the one eighth of an ounce version, excuse me. And I'm going to be using a baby brush hog made by Zoom on it. I have a 12 pound test. Well, come here. 12 pound test, a trialing big game. And it's a H2O Express rod. Okay, six foot six. What is that? It's a Skeet Reese reel. It's a good one. <laughs> Let's fish. Now I'm going to be pitching cover. Just like these trees. And I'm going to be fishing rocks. And I'm fishing off the side of the river. It's real deep. Uh, but the fish should come on in here shallow. I imagine they'll be right up against the bank here in a little bit later on this evening. But let's start fishing let's see if we can't catch a pretty good fish this evening i'm just going to pitch at those targets let that bait fall straight down when it makes contact pick it up let it fall pick it up let it fall i hesitated because i done got a bite but it was a bluegill or something like that, something real small. But uh, these fish in the Coosa River will get extremely shallow a lot of times. A lot of times they're right by the bank. So if you like to fish like this, like with a jig or something like this, this type of deal I'm doing here, you'll love this kind of fishing. I got a stump right here in front of me. See if there's a fish on it. Big stump. Yeah, there's fish. <coughs> Come on off there. Ain't a very big one. Little spot. Come on, boy. He eat it though. There's a stump. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Just right there. Fish is right behind it. On the down current side of it. Pretty little Coosa River spot. Or Alabama spotted bass. Let's put him back. Alright. First fish of the day there, Elmo. That didn't take long. At all. I like to fish targets. Uh, targets and drops on river systems. They're my two favorite. Now I caught that fish pretty, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pitch right back to it. They could be, you know, several fish right there. No doubt, stacked up behind it. That fish was positioned perfect right on the down current side. That might've been the only one there, but. And that fish was in, shoot. Two foot of water, two and a half foot of water. And the water temperature 
It's 84 degrees on top, so it's hot. A lot of cover up there. That could be an old big fish. I mean, a big one, son of a gun up there. Look here. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. Pretty good bass right here. Yeah. Large jaw. Quit, quit. Yep. God, they can fight. They can fight in river systems. That's a pretty fish right there. And fat and healthy football. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. What do you got in your face? See how stumpy that fish is. It's a beautiful fish. He wouldn't hook too bad at all. Short, stumpy. God, let's let him go. He's bleeding a little bit, but that's just because it's hot. He didn't get stuck in a bad place, not at all. But I got a lot of timber right here laying around. And I'm working this timber real slow. And I'm making repetitive casts in it from different angles. Uh, instead of just making a cast or two and then going to the next, I'm really dissecting this cover. Uh, just like in front of me, here's a big old tree laying right there. Okay. Let's see if there's a fish in there. And don't be afraid to throw right in the tree. Now, I mean, that's a lot of times that's where they're at. Uh, most of the time they are, you know, bass or ambush feeders, just like a crappie. They're cover-oriented, structure-oriented fish. They depend on that cover to survive. There he is. Right on there. Right on that cover. Large jaw. Right now, I'm primarily, I'm just fishing for largemouth. Fishing this way. Now, every once in a while, you can catch a spot on this river. Come on in here. Ah, fishing like this, but... Uh, Really, I'm fishing for a large jaw right now. I'm gonna wait for my spots till this evening. Pretty fish, beautiful. Little bass, sir, get on in there. All right, up there, dirt shallow. He was on dirt. I'm gonna pitch back in there. He grabbed it real quick. That yeah, what we have is two logs crisscrossing like that and uh i pitched right there right where they intersect where they come together and that fish is right there and when i pitch even in shallow water like this i'll let that bait fall straight down not at an angle towards me but straight down didn't want to stay in the water for some reason. Yep. Picked him off of that little piece of wood. Little piece of wood. Let's look at it. Eh, not too little. Pretty good large jaw there, Elmer. Elmer couldn't, he couldn't be with me today. Quiet. God, how pretty. Healthy little fish. Quiet. Beautiful. It's the wood. Today it's the wood. That's the pattern. <laughs> Not grass, but wood. Pretty little fish. I'm wanting to stick me a big and going back in there. 
We got to get us a big one. I'm having a lot of fun right here. The fish are pretty active today. There's the fish. Yeah. Large mouth. Little large mouth. Come on in here. I thought you was better than that. Where you hit it, it was just, that fish hit it just kaboom. Usually that's a good one. They'll fool you. Go on back in there and grow up, boy. You ain't big enough. You ain't big as a tater bean. Mm. There we go. We up under there. Pitch, pitching, and pitching. I'm not on a big bass pattern at all, but I'm catching, come on in here. I'm catching a lot of fish, but I may have to change my pattern up. I'm gonna stick with this just a little bit longer. How fat and broad that little fish is. They are pretty, you got to admit. Get on back in there. But I'm not catching the quality of fish that I think I need to or want to, but I'm catching them. I'm having a lot of fun. But uh, I want a big one. I got a pretty good pattern, right? Ah, them boats is well. <laughs> I got a pretty good pattern right here. Up under these trees, like this shade, and a little bit of timber here and there. Folks, that's about the end of it. I did the best I could I, this evening. I got onto a little wood pattern, pitching, and uh, caught some fish, just boom, 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 and that was it. Uh, I've tried a couple of different things. I didn't have much time this evening anyway. But I tell you, I enjoy fishing. If it isn't but for, for a couple hours, it's relaxing, it'll test you. A lot of different patterns here on the Coosa River, but that's a good one. That's a real good solid little pattern in the summertime. And uh, I want to say thank y'all for watching. Uh, I say it every time, but I really, yeah, I, I really mean it. You know, I enjoy this. I enjoy entertaining and just catching fish, being out here in the great outdoors. Alabama is a special place just like your state is. Right. Enjoy yourself and go fishing. And go fishing when you can because it's good for you. Thank y'all.